Welcome everyone to Advent of Code with Pandas. This is day nine. So we're moving a rope around a grid. The rope has two pieces, a head and a tail. The head will move in one unit each step, either up, down, right, or left. The tail will sometimes follow the head, sometimes stay put. It's your job to figure out how it follows the head around. So head moves around, tail kind of chases it and sometimes stays where it's at. So the rules for the tail is if it is two units away in a single direction, so it's gotta be two units away for the tail to move. If it's one unit, so if it's any one, one of these surrounding the head, uh, diagonals count as one unit, then it stays put. Um, also, if it's on the same space, then it also stays put. So, But if it is two units away uh, and it's in the same row or the same column, then it'll simply just move one unit towards the head. If it is not in the same row or the same column, then it'll move diagonally, directly diagonally towards the head. All right, so let's show you uh, what this, how this looks like. So here's the command R4, and this is our input data, up, down, right, and left, and this is the number of spaces that the head goes. So this is only for the head, instructions for movement, so let's take a look over here. Say we're issued the command R4, and the starting position of the tail and head are like this. This is just the very starting position which uh, where they both started out at the same time. But say we're in the middle over here. So R4, so the head will move one space to the right. It's always moving one at a time. It doesn't just move four at a time, it moves one at a time. So the tail doesn't move in this case because it is still diagonally. Uh, then, the H uh, will move, the head will move one more space to the right, so it'll be right here. It'll be two spaces away uh, horizontally from the tail, and since it's not on the same row, the tail will move diagonally. So notice how it moves diagonally right there. The last movement is another right four, and then the tail will just follow it one space because it will be two units away, but it'll be on the same row, so it'll just move one to the right like that. All right, so the Ultimate goal here is to figure out all the unique spaces where the tail has gone, how many unique spaces the tail has gone. All right, so here again is the input data. I'm going to read it in here. And as a pandas data frame, so I'll just tell you what I've done. I've used the single space as the separator, which will create two columns like this. Um, I could have called this uh, vertical. I've just uh, duplicated the vertical and the horizontal here like this. And then I've just used some logic over here and some Boolean indexing to replace the areas where uh, it's horizontal but actually has a vertical direction with zero. And then to change the, you know, down to negative one or to negative and left to negative, right? So the positive will go up, uh, negative will go down, positive will go right for horizontal and left for, uh, uh, horizontal or negative or left. All right, let's uh, see what happens here. So unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of pandas in this one. I just used a, an apply method to actually just use a regular old loop. So I didn't even have to use an apply. I could have just used a Python loop, but I kept it in the spirit of pandas using apply, which is a, sort of a just another way of looping through every row of the data frame. So let's take a look at what happens. It calls this move method, and this really could be called move head. And then I have a separate method for the movement of the tail. So the first thing I do is it's going row by row. I'm gonna unpack, or not unpack, but I'm just going to extract the horizontal and vertical movements as X and Y. And then I will I create some lists to hold the head and tail movement. And then, um, because I'm at the move one at a time, I'm going to iterate through um, the entire X movement. So if this is 10, one of these will always be zero, by the way. So only one of these four loops will be called uh, during each of these calls to move. So it'll just loop through here. And all I'm going to do is just add one to the head, uh, whatever sign that is, right? So if it's um, negative, I get the sign using this. Um, so I'll either add or subtract one. That takes care of the head movement. And yes, I'll you know, just append the head to the list of heads. So I just keep track of 
you know, all the heads that have been taken uh, or, or every, every point where the head is. And then the tail movement is done by this um, function right here, move tail. So I pass in the head and the tail and I use some logic over here to determine if the tail has moved. So I get the difference in the beginning between the X and the Y of the head and the tail. Um, I also do this, you know, get the sign as well to determine which direction am I moving, you know, left or, or down or up or right. Um, <clears throat> so if there is a difference, uh, I only move, notice there's only, there's two if statements here. There's only a movement if the difference is two. If it's one, then I'm not moving. So one of the directions has to have a distance of two. I take the absolute value to get the total distance. And then I just move the tail, right? So I move it one in that direction. Um, if, uh, or so, so this is checking the X up here. So I also check the Y. So um, uh, so if the, if the Y is also one or two, uh, then that'll also uh, move the Y direction as well. So um, I just start off by checking the X and then I check the, the Y down here um, as well. And so that's it. That's all. Um, that's all there is. I'm just just doing some basic logic to check, and then I'm uh, and I'm moving um, the tail, and I'm appending it to this uh, tails list, um, and I'm returning that uh, over here <clears throat> by such. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, uh, yeah, not a whole lot of pandas in this one. Just. Uh, you know, just some logic. I do have to create some global variables over here uh, because it's just a little difficult, you know, doing that within the, you know, with using this apply. So um, this sort of just holds all of my data um, and uh, helps keep track of it like that. All right, and the last thing is once I get all the tails is just to get the number of unique values. All right, the last, uh, the next step is just to repeat this. We're gonna have a rope instead of one tail, there's actually going to be, you know, like eight or nine, sorry, 10 different knots in the tail, um, which really means, uh, or, or, or the, the rope has a length of 10 now instead of just two. So I need to do this eight more times. And I'm just going to take the previous tail, which is what is really re returned over here, all these tails. And I'm just going to run it through the same exact, I'm just going to move the tail like this. And you know, um, see, see where the, that tail goes. And this is the number of unique for the last one. All right, so that's it uh, for day nine of Advent of Code with Pandas. It's mainly uh, just some looping and logic checking with Python, but it's, you know, set up in the, you know, in the context of a Pandas data frame.